<laughs> Don't mind the setting. It's dark. And I, um... I have another announcement to make. Not an announcement, but information. How close are you with your friends? So... Uh, I want to touch on dopamine and its impacts on your relationships. I find nowadays, if we hang out with one person, a group of people, we often do activities like going to watch a movie, watching a movie at home, got Netflix, um, eating fast food, just listening to, listening to music, although that's better. Um... Or doing something else, like just sitting on our phone that we might do when we're feeling bored. And you might hear people talk about being a high dopamine activity. Now, I want you to think about how often, or even gaming as well, how often you do these things with your friends every single time that you hang out. Now, think, or better yet, ask yourself another question. How much do you know about your closest friends? Or even just friends you see often? And ask how connected you really feel the ones around you. Um, I think a tendency has built, especially among adolescents, people 13 to 18, where we engage in activities where the enjoyment is not coming from our relationships, but what we're participating in. That may not be true for everyone, but to an extent, I think that is prevalent. I could be wrong, but I think that by relying on things like fast food, movies, entertainment, gaming, we find ourselves with falsely developed relationships that aren't as meaningful as we think. So ask yourself who you are as a person and what you value. And think about the ones around you, who they are, what they value. And ensure that there's a reason that they are so integral in your life. And whether your times with them are authentic and filled with real connection with one another. Because I think that some, not sometimes, often, that's not the case. Have a good night. This is, I'm, so, I'm sorry for this, I'm sorry for this. <laughs>